Assalamu alaikum people, my name is Sabi Ahmed and today I am going to uh, teach you some of the upgrades that have been made in the JF-17 Block 3, the backbone of the Pakistani Air Force. So JF-17, which is also known as CACFC-1 Zero Link in China, was developed by a joint venture between Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and Chengdu Aircraft Corporation. Basically, JF-17 is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft. But this multi-role means it can be, there is a fight going on between two fighter pilots. It can intercept that fight and help the friendly fighter. It can also take part in a dogfight. It can attack ground targets. It can attack sea targets such as ships. And it can also act as a aerial reconnaissance. Aerial reconnaissance means imaging of the target. So basically it can act as a drone and take images of the target which has which are they going to blow up or they have already blown up. Next, let, let's talk about some of the updates which are being made in the JF-17 Block 3. So, the most first and uh, most important uh, update made is in the body. Steel and titanium has been used in higher percentage in the building up block 3. This steel and titanium gives increased strength to the overall structure of the aeroplane JF-17 block 3. But the, we do not want the weight to be increased. So we used composite material. What does composite material do? Composite material helps the plane in two ways. First, it reduces the weight of the aeroplane. Second, it decreases the cross-section area of the aeroplane, thus decreasing, it has increasing the stealthier capacity of the aeroplane. If you want to see a video on stealthy capacities, I will leave a link above. Third, the hard points. Hard points are the points on which the missiles or can be attached. These have been increased from 7 in JF-17 block 2 to 11 in JF-17 block 3. Next, cockpit. You can imagine cockpit as a driving seat. So basically, cockpit is the driving seat of the aeroplane. So, so the cockpit of the JF-17 17 block 3 has been upgraded and designed in alliance with JF J20, the elite fighter of Chinese aircraft. Avionics. What is avionics? There are plenty of systems in the aircraft like the communication system, the radar system, the navigation system, display system, a defense system, missile system, the attack system. The in the avionics is the part which brings all of those together. If those systems, no matter how much better they are, they work, uh, not work together, the airplane will fall. Okay, so avionic is avionics is basically the integration of all those systems into a one unit. So the plane can perform in a perfect manner. The avionics of the JF-17 Block 3 have been upgraded to the J-20 level, which is again fifth generation aeroplane of China. Next is the helmet mounted display or heads on display. What is helmet mounted display and heads on display? Basically, it is a holographic display in front of your head. It gives you information. Basically, for example, if a missile is approaching, the air defense system, infrared defense system will detect it and show it up on, on the screen ahead. So you can take my ears. Either you can dodge it, you can 
uh, layer decoy or you can release the port to destroy that uh, missile okay also it gives you awareness of the surroundings of the surroundings how, how many of the friendly fighters are there how many of the enemy fighters are there so all of this is shown on the holographic wide angle heads up display with the help of velvet mounted display next next this is the klj7a isa radar system isa stands for advanced electronically scanning array this is one of the world's best radar system why it can detect 15 aeroplanes 15 aeroplanes at a time and engage with four of them at a time i will repeat this has the capacity to detect 15 aeroplanes at a time and engage with five four of the sorry four of the those aeroplanes at a time that's an achievement next this is the advanced infrared missile approaching warning system as I, I already told you this detects a missile the type of missile the velocity of the missile the direction of the missiles and tells the pilot on the holographic wide angle display so that the pilot can take necessary action which is required to tackle down that missile next the engine used in the jl jf-17 block 2 was rd-93 and it gave it a velocity of about approximately 1800 km per hour um, this engine was made in russia so there was a lot of controversies going on but russia has now given Pakistan the RD-93 MA which is a more efficient and a better engine than RD-93 and it has it is going to be used in JF-17 block 3 currently the delay in JF-17 block 3 was due to this engine as Pakistan Air Force was going to receive uh, about a fleet of uh, 15 JF-17 block 3 in uh, June 2020 but due to the delay in this engine because engines also take testing about uh, three months of testing the testing of this engine has been completed this engine has been provided to Pakistani uh, aeronautical complex they are integrating this engine into the uh, JF-17 block 3 and inshallah by the end of this year this engine will be provided to Pakistan Air Force. Next, these are some of the additional missiles which has been advanced, uh, which has been uh, installed in the JF-17 Block 3. First is the BL-15 Beyond Visual Range. This is a deadly missile. Meteor missile has a range of about 60 to 70 kilometers this has a range of 300 kilometers pl9c wide visual range this is a 22 kilometer this is excellent for a dog fight pl8 wide visual range missiles rad mk2 nuclear air to surface missile this is basically a cruise missile which has the capacity to carry nuclear weaponry rad one was already integrated in jf 17 block 2 so rad 2 3 rad 2 have been integrated in jf 17 block 3 so this is the end of the video if you want me to make a video on another aeroplane about its specifications let me know if you want to correct me about some of the information please let me know if you want me to compare jf-17 with any other fighter please comment below i will inshallah do that if you want to uh, 
make uh, make amendments to my presentation please uh, comment below i will be very thankful for to you these videos make a uh, take a lot of time to, to make and i will be pleasure if you will just uh, say thank you or uh, say a uh, small comment below it means a lot to me in the end if you like this video like press the like button and subscribe to my channel allah hafiz pakistan zindabad thank you